Hello, this is Laura Cross. It's Tuesday, February 1st, with an LPAC TV news update. Events over the past weeks, including today's Million Man March in Egypt and elsewhere throughout the Middle East, are significant, but not for the reasons you may think. They are significant not because there is a sustained uprising that may topple a 30-year regime. They are not significant for any explanation of who is doing what to whom, who is on what side, or who is going to end up on top. None of these conspiracies are significant. What is significant is that the actions signify that we are in a civilizational collapse, not simply the already prevalent, obvious economic collapse, but a civilizational collapse in which young people in their 20s and 30s are all acting out of sheer frustration and anxiety about the reality of their future, revolting because they have nothing as a future. Look at the situation. Quadrillions of dollars around the globe of gambling debts, for which nations are killing off the sustainability of life of their people. Hyperinflationary rates of already hyperinflated food prices. Jobless rates for youth at 25%, the norm in many nations around the globe. These young people, whose pictures you've seen all over the media the last few days, are responding to the complete lack of that which makes us human beings. The desire for a future to desire for a mission in life, to have the opportunity to be present in the future. And as 30 plus years of deindustrialization and systematic intentional destruction of a mission orientation for nations and communities of nation states reaches its intended end, human beings with no view of a solution respond with fear and anger and anxiety. The danger is while this is a human response to be upset that you have been dealt such terrible cards, the danger is that social chaos will take over instead of an evocation of leadership to enact the unified solution that will deal the final death blow to the system of empire. The conjunction of the conflagrations in North Africa and Egypt and the release of the Angelides report here in the United States point directly to the fact that this is one process occurring in the world, a process of utter elimination of any illusion about what the future holds if we continue in our present trajectory. The system of empire is in its death throes. Reaching up from the depths of hell, the system of empire is tugging away at humanity, trying its damnedest to pull civilization into chaos through riots, food scarcity, bailouts, and austerity. However, here on Earth, the door is open for civilization to enter into a new age of humanity. With the release of the Angelides report, it is now undeniable that none of the past five years of economic destruction were necessary. The test now is a moral one. How will we in America respond to reality? The obvious implications of the Angelides report is that the United States, as the only nation on the planet capable of enacting a global unified solution, must act on its identity and eliminate the corpse of the British Empire. Throw it overboard with the institution of Glass-Steagall. This decisive action, the only moral response available, would pave the way for the initial construction of NWAPA and the extended NWAPA program. If we in the United States fail to respond in this way now, then the young people in Egypt, who are showing through their actions that they are desperate for a future, don't have a chance. That's all for now. Stay tuned to LPAC TV for more.